What's up guys? Today we're gonna be talking about tires, specifically truck tires for towing. Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. We sold our house and we are traveling across the country with our kids. My name's Goose and this is Maverick. Come join us. If you guys don't really care about the story and you're just interested in the technical information, go ahead and jump forward to minute marker nine. First off, I wanna say I'm making this video not because I am what you would consider a truck tire expert, but because I learned this information the hard way. So hopefully you don't have to go through what we did to get this information right. Now I made the mistake of when we bought our truck, they had some nice quality, I would say more of off-road tires to them that were brand new. And I didn't wanna have to spend another couple thousand dollars replacing them. So I was like, oh, these are pretty beefy tires. They weren't super low rating, but they weren't like high quality towing tires. But honestly, I didn't do that much research into them. And for the first six to nine months of traveling around, we had no issues. Things were great. I mean, they were noisy because they were mud tires, but then, at about 20,000 miles, so I would say about half the life of a normal tire, we started hitting some issues. I am working on rotating the truck tires. Thank you to the gentleman at the RV park that loaned me the jack. Otherwise, this would be very difficult. But man, that's the biggest tire I've ever taken off. What if the wheel falls off while we're driving? And that would suck. I trust you wholeheartedly. Sounds like it. <laughs> so I was just about to finish switching these two tires and check out what I noticed embedded in this rear tire. I don't know what, if that's a nail or what that is. The bummer is, is like we haven't been leaking any air that I'm aware of. And so it's like, do I pull it out and so it doesn't get worse or will pulling it out make it worse? Oh, I think I hear air coming out when I wiggle in it. Um, so I decided just that we should take it into a shop and have that repaired and whatnot because I don't want to blow up while we're towing. Well, as I was setting down the tire, the nail caught my finger and gashed in quite deep. We've had a band-aid on now for a half an hour or so, but we're gonna change. We're gonna change it. Look at this tiny little tourniquet. It is. That is deep. Look yeah. at that. Okay, so we're gonna get it cleaned up. And then we're gonna take so a picture. A oh yeah, look at that, you can see the muscle. That is disgusting. I don't think people wanna see it. We're gonna take a picture for my sister, make sure that she doesn't think it's got the bone cause this guy refuses to go to the doctor. Will you get me a napkin or something? Yeah, all right, bye. Hey. Thankfully we were able to go into the nearby town of Pigeon Forge and I was able to get them to patch up the tire. It wasn't a horrible blowout. The tire didn't rip the shreds. It was just a little nail puncture that they were able to patch up and they assured me that we were good to go for towing on it. So I am very thankful about that. That cost me $25. Couldn't have asked for much better. Well, I could have not ripped open my finger, but as far as monetarily goes, I could have had the blowout while we were towing, had a massive accident and basically lost everything. So it could have been far worse. So $25, not bad. Good morning guys. So I am trying to stay positive this morning, but it's really hard when this is what you wake up to. I wonder if it's because we got that little puppy thing right there. If you can't tell, that doesn't look right. So when we arrived at our campsite last night, uh, we were backing in and all of a sudden we heard this bang and it was the loudest pop slash explosion. I, I seriously, it sounded like one of those uh, M80 explosions went off. It was super loud. So we got out, all of a sudden, all of our neighbors started coming over and helping us out. The RV community is amazing. And we couldn't figure out what was going on. The tires all looked fine, the hitch looked fine, we didn't hit any of the branches or anything. But then one of the guys noticed, you can't see it anymore, but the tire was still inflated, except for there was this round bulge around the entire ring. And what we think happened is one of the, uh, like the metal, uh, I don't know what they're called, the, not the tread, but like the interior part of the tire snapped inside and it just poof, bubbled up. Luckily the tire didn't immediately go flat because we still had about 20 feet to back up, but we just quickly backed in as quickly as slafy as possible and got set up. And I thought I was gonna be able to drive to uh, the tire shop this morning, but came out this morning and this is what we see. So before we can go anywhere this morning, 
<laughs> not quite because I have to bring the truck. So before we can go anywhere this morning, I have to get out the jack again, lift up the truck, put on the spare tire, and drive into town. And this is literally 24 hours after we just had the other flat repaired. And at first I was thinking, wait a minute, is this the same flat that that guy fixed and then it blew on us? But supposedly they put that flat tire on the front of the truck. I didn't actually see them do it, but that's where they told me it was. So, I don't know, either the guys lied to me and they did a crappy job fixing the tire, or we just have a really bad timing and we got two tires blown within two days. Bring that over to the tire for me. Got it? It's heavy, heavy yeah. Thank you, helper. So Daddy is working on the tires. Say hi, Dad. Hello, did you want to help me? Okay. Shh. Sure. I'll take over, you go help. Okay, so what we're gonna do is grab I'll this and you. turn it to the right. Okay. Yeah. I'll hold this part, you just turn it. Okay, good. So, there you go. You Every it. little girl should know how to change a tire. So what we're doing, the more we turn this, the higher it lifts the truck up. See how the jack is on the axle there? As we twist this and rotate it, it slowly lifts up the truck. <sighs> All right guys, we have the tire and wheel off and... Busted permanently. As Goose said, it is busted permanently. There is no patch in that, especially since it's in the sidewall. So, that means that we are going to have to buy at least two tires, I believe, because I don't think they're just gonna give us one tire. And I would feel a little sketchy driving with one different tire than on the other side while towing a 11,000 pound trailer. But uh, today is gonna consist of trying to solve this problem. Thankfully, uh, we were able to extend our stay here at Thousand Trails because we were only supposed to stay here two nights originally. We bumped it up to four. So we've got a few more nights to figure this out. The bummer is I, think, I believe these are 20 inch wheels, which makes it more expensive than the stock 18 inch wheels. Yeah, it's 20 inch. So, I guess we'll see what they have in town. So, we, as you said, as me and Dad said, it is permanently busted. So, I'm gonna get you back to Daddy. Good, you got it? Yep. All right, thank you. I got two more. I had so, some more. All right, start screwing this in for me. This way? Yep, righty-tighty. Now after having two major tire issues, especially one being a massive blowout, you would think, you know, I would learn my lesson, I would do a little bit more research and figure out exactly what kind of tires I should get. But being the, I'll just say it, being the idiot I was, I was just like, oh sweet, they have the exact same tire in stock, let's get those, that way we have the same tires all around and that should be good, right? At first, again, it was great. And here's where a little secret comes out. Our videos are actually about two months behind schedule currently, so I've had about two months of time driving on these brand new tires uh, that you guys are completely unaware of. So I'm actually filming this two months ahead of time. I'm <laughs> Actually, this is currently the west coast of the country, so I'm about 3,000 miles away from where I purchased these tires. Rewind a little bit. So on our drive from the east coast back to the west coast, what do you think happened? We had another blowout. So let me walk you through what you guys should know before you're looking into uh, either getting new truck tires or seeing if your current truck tires are good enough to tow your current trailer or the trailer you're looking into getting. Because there are tons of videos out there that talk about, oh, you should have these tires for your trailer, you should have double spares and all that but your truck tires are just as important, if not more important, than your trailer tires. All right, so first off, let's take a look at the original tires we had. These are the Federal tires. These tires were the brand and exact model that we had when we bought the truck. And I'm sure most of you have seen these numbers. They're not just arbitrary, they actually mean something here. Les Schwab has one of the best diagrams, as I like to call a diagram for dummies, that kind of breaks down these numbers. Basically, we're gonna ignore most of the stuff on here other than uh, F and G, which is the load index and the speed rating. The most important one, especially for towing, is is the load index. So on here you can see it's the number 89. But let's jump over and let's look at what my original tires were. If you look, the numbers here, 35X, 12.5, R20, LT, none of that is the load index or the speed rating. This is talking about 
the uh, tire width and diameter and the type of tire as well as uh, LT stands for light truck because uh, there's also passenger vehicles and there's even like a European index thing. We're not going to worry about any of that. But if we zoom into a different part of the tire, we see this 121Q as well as underneath you see that LRE. The 121Q, that right there is the load index and the Q is the speed rating. And then LR, that is the load rating and you can see it's an E. There is an alphabetic load rating very similar to what you might have learned about the trailer tires, B, C, D, E, F, G. The higher you get, the bigger the load rating, the more weight it can take. Anyways, I don't want to get too technical. Let's jump over to uh, this graph that's also on the Les Schwab page. By the way, not sponsored, just one of the best information that I found out there broken down for dummies like me. So if you look at the load index, we are a 121. And if we go down 121, that means that our max load that each tire can hold is 3,197 pounds. And if you go over to the speed index, our speed index was a Q. That means that these tires are rated up to 99 miles an hour, which I don't think will be an issue. I don't think I'm ever going to be towing faster than that or just driving the truck faster than that. So I think we're good to go there. So let's compare that to the new tires. If we look, we have the same 35 by 12.5 R20 LT. That is because it is the same make and same size and dimension. That way it all fits on the truck. The thing we really want to look at is what's right next to it, 125Q. So if we jump back over over to our load index and our speed rating we can see 125 means that we have a max load capacity per tire of 3,638, which is about an additional 400 pounds per tire, which is like an extra 800 pounds we can put in the back of the truck. That is fairly substantial. Uh, and it is still a Q rating, which means I can't go faster than 99 miles an hour, which is a bummer. But that extra 800 pounds is really what I was interested in. Now, if you guys have a small 15 20 foot trailer and you guys do the occasional camping trips to you know three four hours away most of this you probably don't have to worry about because it's really unlikely that you're going to weigh that thing down and have issues towing but if you do have a bigger trailer or you plan on doing longer distance trips like maybe you're going to do a cross-country trip or maybe you do go camping every other weekend or something like that, you might wanna look into not only the tire ratings on your trailer, but specifically on your truck to make sure you're not overloading the weight rating as well as the speed rating and just making sure that you're running the correct type of tire for what you're doing. Again, if you don't tow that often, probably not that big of a deal, but if you guys are like us and you're towing every week, thousands of miles, definitely look into your tire ratings, definitely go above and beyond what you think you should go. That way you don't have an issue. We got super lucky in that all three of our blowouts weren't catastrophic. One, I found the nail when I was rotating the tires. Two, we were backing up, so we were going like two miles an hour, So we and we only had a few more feet to back up the trailer. And the third one, uh, we were going down the road. We did feel it, but it wasn't catastrophic. The tire still held itself together. This is the one that happened most recently. Uh, that one could have been dangerous because we were going about 65 miles an hour down the road towing everything we own, all of our children, our dog, that could have been bad. But thankfully the tire didn't blow out completely. We just noticed we were getting a little bit of a wobble. So we pulled off, checked it out, and then found a tire shop in that town. And that is where our tire pressure monitoring system came into play too, because we started to notice that the uh, the heat started changing. It started to get a lot warmer. So if you haven't invested in a tire pressure monitoring system, definitely look into that as well. I'll link up the one below that we use if you guys want to check that out. Hopefully this video helped you guys. And that didn't scare you too much into uh, what you need to be doing. But I just want to make sure you guys are safe and that you have all the information that I was completely ignorant to at the beginning. But until next time, guys, remember, stay positive. Get out there. Life is an adventure. So make some memories.